and we're going to get into it, you know, right now, you know, we're in a state of, you know, pandemic, you know, it's a lot of different philosophies, teachings going on. It's a lot of guys out here doing great training, uh, you know, all kind of beautiful things, you know, when it comes to the coaching, you know, coaching is not just sports, it's coaching in life, it's coaching in, you know what I'm saying? everything we do because each one needs to teach one. So Coach Patterson, right now you had an opportunity to become, you know, you play college football, then you change your life and transition into the coach's world. What made you want to do that? Well, no, I, I didn't play college ball. I went in the, I went in the U.S. Army. Uh, but what what made me want to get into coaching, and this, this seriously, I had two daughters. And I saw where the young men, where I was growing up at, I saw the direction they were heading and I wanted to make a positive change. And so the first year I got into coaching, it really wasn't coaching, it was a mentoring tutor program uh, with a guy by the name of Al Florence and Greg Sparkman. And we turned that program, we all like football and we said we should just create a football team, see how many more kids we can get. And so the first year from that tutoring program, we went from 20 kids to by year three, I think we were somewhere around 60 or 70 kids, you know, and, and most of these kids were straight out the projects, you know, and they just wanted something to do, you know, uh, after school. And so we gave them something to do, but we also put stipulations on what they were doing. Like you had to maintain a C average in school. And if you didn't have the average, we had teachers that would come over and they would uh, tutor the kids. And so once oh, you oh, oh, real, average, quick, real quick, you said they had to maintain. Had to maintain us the average. So why 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 would y'all have a program like this and have kids, you know what I'm saying, like be responsible for the, like a, a, a GPA? Why y'all just why y'all just didn't help them? Well, uh, old school mentality, man. Like you got to get that education first, man. You can't do nothing without the education, you know. So the education is almost like the, the, you know, if you got a car, the education is the steering wheel, you know. Yeah. It's the driver, you know, and then everything else play off of that, you know. And so when, uh, and then we, we also we we also got a lot of kids off out of juvenile court. And so we used to go to juvenile court and kids that they were going to send up the road or they were going to send to the detention center. We would say, hey, can we get them in our program for six to eight weeks? And if they passed our program, then they wouldn't, they, they would, nothing would go on their record. But if they couldn't pass our program, then not, a, you know, whatever the, the judge want to give to them, because at that point we can't help them. And in five years, we only lost one kid out of 300 to the uh, juvenile system. There's no better feeling when you can coach an a individual on something that you experience and they do it and it starts working out for them. And that's how important coaching is for me because, you know, I don't feel like I had to step back from Canterbury because not saying that those kids weren't coachable, but I had a, I think I have a bigger arena of kids that I need to coach. And I wasn't giving them the right stuff in the essentials that they needed for me. And as well as me being able to build my mission statement, but day in, day out, man, we have to learn to do better about ourselves. You know, I grow constantly every day. I don't know everything. And me and coach Mike, we stay talking about, you know, uh, betterment as men. Um, but it's one of those deals, man. We are very important and we don't get paid enough. And back to the start of the conversation, I played professional ball and I was being paid day in, day out to learn plays, come to practice and do what I do. You feel me? I was getting paid to do that. Now we're asking kids to come play books this big and go through school and then come learn these 3,000 plays. It's not going to happen. And you wonder why these kids are not successful on the field and why your program is not working because we got too much going on for them. 